All right, everybody. We're back here today on the Mustang. We didn't get it started yesterday, but we found out a couple things last night. So after we loaded it, I'm glad I stopped when I did because it was like eight o'clock when I finally got everything put away and got the car loaded. We was really tired. But one thing we did is we went to a gas station and we wanted to put more gas in the tank to see how much it would take. And it actually took another eight and a half gallons. This is a 15 gallon, 15 and a half gallon tank. And I had put five gallons in it earlier. So we put a total of 12 and a half gallons in it. And it's a 15 and a half gallon tank. So it only had three gallons of bad fuel in it to start with. And when I put the first five gallons in it, it was basically a 50-50 mix, maybe a little, maybe 60-40, but it didn't want to start. Now it's like a 75-25 mix, 75 good gas, 25 bad gas. So it should make a big difference. We hope it does. If it doesn't, then uh, we're going to try to start it right now. If we can't get it to start, then I'm going to go to town and get some new plugs because I showed you the plugs yesterday. They were pretty bad. And that might help it to start as well. But I want to try to do a first start on it right now before we do that to see if we can get it to actually start with the parts on it that were on it when we got it. So let's get that going. And let me show you what I got going on up under the hood here before we get that started, okay? All right, so if you look up there, You'll see I have a fuel pressure gauge, okay? Whoops, I think I'm, where am I at? There we go. All right, let me zoom in on that. I got a fuel pressure gauge hooked up to the car. And this line right here is, well, you can't see it. This line right here is a clear line. It's going to a glass jar. So I'm going to have Lynn turn the key on, and I want to see if we get any fuel pressure when she turns the key on. And, and if, she, if we do, then I'm going to have her crank it, and this is a pressure release button. I'm going to ha push this button in and let some of the fuel run into that jar to see what kind of fuel we got going in the jar. I want to try to do that until I get what looks like good fuel in there. It may not take much. It may take a couple times. I don't know, but let's try that first. All right, Lynn, go ahead and turn the key on. Okay, we got nothing so far. Uh, try to crank it a little bit. Make sure it's adequate. Ah, look at that, it's already trying to start. Okay. Well, I was afraid that my, that my, uh, let's zoom back out. I was afraid that my fitting down there wasn't going to be the right one. And it's not, it, I'm not getting pressure, but it did almost try to start right there. You saw that. We haven't done anything to it. So let me, let me give it a little bit of, of uh, spray in the intake. I got it open over here and I'll turn you guys around here. Let's see if it smokes when we start it up. All right, I'll put you guys like about right there so you can kind of see the engine and the, the uh, back of the car. The wind's blowing that way. So if it smokes, you're going to see it smoking out the back. All right. Let's, uh give it some a little bit of help here spray something in the intake here and let's see if we can get it oops all right i gotta get another can this can's missing the missing the uh nozzle <laughs> hold on i'll be back in a second Okay, I'm back. One thing I want to say here before we do this, is you guys have to remember this car's been sitting for about 18 years, and so uh, the computer on it has lost all of its memory. It has no idea where it wants to run at. 
and it's got bad fuel in it, so it's confusing the, the computer on this car. So it's having a hard time running. It's not like a carbureted car where there's no computer system. This has a computer system in it and doesn't really know what to do. So let me turn this a little bit so you can see that intake. There you go. All right. If it starts, I'll move it back over. Okay, yeah. All right, so let me uh, let's spray something down the intake here, some brake clean, and we're going to see if we can get it to fire up this time this morning. It's got a whole bunch more good gas in it. All right, Lane, go ahead and try to start it. only seems like it wants to run when I'm spraying this stuff in it but hopefully it'll get a little better here try it again Lynn Try to start again, but give it just a little bit of gas. Hold the gas pedal about halfway down. So now it's running on just gasoline. But look at the smoke. See the smoke out the back?
see the the belt noise. Let me get off this. The belt noise is quieted down. Now it's starting to smooth out a little bit. Let's go in the back and look at what it's doing back there. Does it have an oil pressure gauge? Yeah, the oil pressure gauge is right in the middle. Look at that real quick. Oil pressure. Oil pressure looks good. You have your foot of the gas still? Yep. Fuel gauge. Fuel works. gauge says full now. That's good. Is, is it charging? Yes. I can't see it very well. Yeah. It's okay. And the temperature is down. Okay, so let's go back here. And as you can see, we got quite a bit of smoke. But you got to remember, this thing hasn't ran for 18 years. And it's probably lost some of the seal in the cylinders. So what we're doing now is we're letting it run. We want to keep an eye on the gauges. We want to make sure we got good oil pressure and it doesn't get hot. And we're going to let it sit and run. And as it runs, it'll seal up the rings and it'll start the smoke. As you notice, I mean, when I, when I had it a few minutes ago, when I had the camera up there in the pod, there was a lot of smoke back here. Now it's already calmed down quite a bit. It's going to continue to calm down. You can hear it's kind of running. A little rough. So it hadn't smoothed out yet. We probably got some injectors that are that are uh, kind of clogged up. But one the other thing I did last night is I put those those two cans of that of that fuel injector cleaner. I poured those in the gas tank before I put gas in it. And that way they mix with the gas and they'll run through and help clean out the injectors okay and again the car has a ran so the computer system on it doesn't know what to do whoa yeah. <laughs> I think it had oh yeah it had some fluid left inside the air intake and it splattered and splattered it out did you let off the gas I was trying to get the gas and started really chugging a little hard Ooh. there's a wasp I just killed him yeah, go ahead and try to start it again. Give it just a little bit of gas. No, I got nothing. No battery. No battery. Okay. Well, you got... I hear dinging, so you got battery. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see smoke. These uh, battery cables, I'm going to replace these ends because they're not doing too good. All right, try it again. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on a second, guys. Uh, hold on. I don't know if I can get this thing to go high enough or not. We'll see. Come on. So one of the wasps actually followed us home. I'm surprised it, I'm surprised it managed to stay with the car, but it did. All right, I gotta go get a tool. All right, I'm back here, guys. I had to, I tried to get the battery post loose over here, over there, and it broke, so I gotta put a new post on it. They're all rusted, they're not moving. They haven't moved in 20 years, so it doesn't surprise me any. Pretty bad shape. All right, so let's uh, throw these on here real quick. Go ahead and turn the key off. Did you did you get the dome light to go off? Oh yeah. Then of course it's off, but I'm just I didn't know if you were messing with it while you were in there. Okay. I noticed the dome light was out on the car and I wasn't sure why. Alright, let's clean this end up on this battery cable and we'll get a new a new end on it. Cause it's definitely no good.
that's another thing that you probably ought to have on your list of stuff to take with you. If you're going to work on one of these cars. Is a some battery new kit, battery cable ends, and a battery cleaning brush, and a wire brush, so you can clean stuff up. This battery's new, so it ain't bad. It should be fine. It's just the cable ends are kind of corroded from sitting for 20 plus years or however long. I don't know. A while. So I'm having to clean them because they got oxidation inside of them from sitting. take my wire brush and I just kind of scrub these cables get them to clean up get some nice looking copper on them okay oh boy. I have the right size branch I know it because this is metric guarantee you that Your dome light on now? Yeah. Okay. I, I turned the knob on the dash and it didn't do anything, so I don't know if there's a switch on the light itself that needs to be adjusted or not. Huh? Okay, well, there may not be. It may be just stuck on. We may have to figure out what's going on with it. All right, hold on. got that tightened up. Okay, Lynn, hit the key and see if it'll crank now. Did it turn it on? Yeah. Did it start it? Yeah, you can start it. If it'll start. Nothing? Nothing? Well, OK. 
Okay. Push it all the way. Okay, go ahead and try to start it. Is that battery weak already? Lost <laughs> is still alive. All right, guys, I'm going to hold off here because I think the battery is gone weak on us for some reason. Hold on, I'll be back. I just went ahead and replaced both battery and cables because they were both bad. So now we're going to try to start it again. All right, give it just a little bit of gas and try to start it. We got it to start anyhow. She's getting tired of sitting in there and a, a wasp flew in and we thought they were gone, but they're not. <coughs> so I'm gonna let it sit and let the battery charge up. I don't think the alternator's working. I think that noise is probably the alternator. So I'm gonna let it sit and charge up and let it sit here on the trailer and then we'll just try to start it uh, a little while later. See if we can get it to uh, actually idle and stuff. It's just, with all that bad gas in our computer system, it's not wanting to cooperate very well. So, anyhow, that's it for now. You saw it start. Like I said, I, I figured it would yesterday, but you know, it's got bad gas in it. You go ahead and get out, Lynn. So we're gonna we're gonna let it sit and let the battery charge a little while, and then we're gonna try it again later. But uh, you know, I don't know if that noise is something that needs to be fixed or not. Obviously, it probably does, but I mean, something that's external, I should say. Obviously, it needs to be fixed. But anyhow, we'll uh, mess with it a little more, and we'll we'll keep looking at it and try to get it going. Talk to you guys later. Bye.